let's talk about the beginning. The Still. beginning of like these aliens and uh -huh. yeah. How much, I need to know how much backstory we are going to get. We get a little bit in the pilot episode, mm -hmm. but I want to know more. They're just like these ki yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah, kids yeah. In these warm cocoons? <laughs> Pods, yes. Yeah, we live for pods. Yeah. Um, it. yeah, I mean, it, I guess it all started in 1947. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we get a chance to see little I guess, flashes of, of when the spaceship first crashed and the military moved in and what they found and what they saw and and uh, so we get to we get to dive into that a little bit okay and um, I'm really excited hopefully come mm -hmm. season two then we'll uh, we'll be able to dive even more into that that mm -hmm. history there's a lot of chemistry from the very first scene you two have together thank you when thank you. Liz is pulled over mm -hmm. yes <laughs> Just the perfect way to be welcomed back home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. You're so welcome. Pull over. <laughs> yeah. She's all heated, mm -hmm. breaks out her passport. Yep. yep. She's ready to fight. Legal, and mm -hmm. then she sees Max <laughs> yeah. and tells us what happens. Yeah, that moment in the script was just so, it took my breath away. The idea that she could be this hot and then and just fighting like in her fighter mode and then sees him and just the wind is knocked out of her and it's so simple i say yeah. max and he says yeah. liz yes. and it's 20 years of history yeah. and weight and and love and you know reservations mm -hmm. and nervousness and vulnerability and nobody does it for these two more than they do for each other mm -hmm. and it, that it was so beautiful and we just worked our little alien bums off to make it work yeah. and to do it justice and yeah. hope people it was, connected with it. It was fun too because I mean, we'd only known each other a few weeks really. Yeah, yeah. And suddenly it's, you know, so here's 20 years of your life that you mm -hmm. that you're now currently getting back and yeah. and yeah. to I mean obviously working with Janine is lovely. She brings so much to to every moment that that we have together and and um, it's just fun to to kind of bask in that a little bit and, yeah. and really build that up. It's been such a partnership, and it's been honestly for us the most rewarding part mm -hmm. of this job has been getting yeah. to do this together and have such a um, beautiful, heavy, deep relationship to, to cultivate while we're doing that, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about why. The mm -hmm. why. Why do they feel these feelings for each other? What is it? What Do, do you think of this is just beyond mm -hmm. just like, I found him cute, right. I found her cute, and then it, it just it, built it from Yeah, childhood. it definitely is for for me, for Max. Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know how much of it made the edit, but we, we go back and we see the first time that Liz walks up to Max as a kid, and we mm -hmm. see, you know, just kind of these flashes of, mm -hmm. for 20 years, ever since I've met this girl, it's been that girl. Right. Um, and sort of played with an idea early on, you don't really know how these aliens work, so maybe there's like something even deeper, some sort of imprinting that happens, that, like you have your person, and that's like, yeah. it, it takes you, fully, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which has been really fun to play with. Yeah, I think it's the same for Liz. I think she just has a longer time admitting that. I think she's someone who's very used to being abandoned. Um, she's she's jaded. She's moved through life as a solo, and she's proud of that, and she's built up walls. She's brilliant. She's capable, and she, I think she knows all these things, but it's a, it's a journey for her to get to a place. And, and that's the beautiful thing about Max, is that Max exists in awe of Liz, in, mm -hmm. in, in, in yeah. the book series, in the original, and this, the way he looks at her is what makes everyone love this property. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's playing catch up. And this catch up quick, girl. <laughs> Trevino. Yes. So he plays Kyle Valenti. He's a doctor. Yes. Handsome doctor too. Yes. Um. <laughs> I mean, he is. Come on. Um, oh, that's your thing, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Very wow. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Weren't you both werewolves on another on another show? So he yeah, should be part true. of your pack. That's, yeah, well, he was. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It was, yeah. Glad, glad we clarified that. <laughs> now, now you've come around, Nathan. But um, is, is he going to end up being the third wheel, or is he like a, a valid option for your character? You know, I, he's handsome. He's a doctor. He yeah. cares. I think the 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 biggest indication of that, or the the thing that carries the most weight, at least for Liz, is that he is someone she's known forever mm -hmm. and he feels like an extension of her family in that he was that high school boyfriend he um has been nothing but great to her and her family and um max represents so much unknown 
and and for me when I think about it it's it's like a an energy in her chest it's like a kinetic thing it's a thing that makes her nervous it makes her feel like she's not in control and she's such a capable woman an intelligent woman and she's used to having the answers and and it's whether she is brave enough to tackle that and to like sort it out for herself, you know? Yeah, you're telling um, Nathan, I mean, how do you feel uh, from a character's perspective about that, so? I mean. I'm rooting for you. It's complicated, <laughs> I, you know. I'm sorry that we're not from here, from this planet. I wish we were, <laughs> it would be simpler. It would be simpler. Yeah, but you um, got some powers. I got some great qualities. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Speak, yeah, you got can some bring power. you back from dead. From dead. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else can you do? What else can Max do? We'll find out. I okay. mean, I, I don't know if there really is a limit at okay. this point. Okay. Um, it's so cool. For the how three it of us, so. yeah. Yeah. Well, so much of it, too, the, the sort of putting the lid on, on what I can do is self imposed more than anything. It's, it's because I'm too afraid to try and see how, how powerful I can be. Okay. Because I'm, I just want to like hide out in my little town and mm -hmm. go about my little quiet life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Liz makes that impossible. Totally. But um, she makes a good milkshake. She I mean, does. Yeah, she I'm does make milkshake. a mean milkshake. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I think th all of the restrictions are just Max puts on himself, and he puts on his siblings as well. So we got to talk about uh, Max's siblings. Mm -hmm. Just a little yes. bit about them because they're both so unique. They're both on very different journeys. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know yet what Isabel does for a living, but she seems like a boss. <laughs> Truly everything. She just yeah. runs the town. She okay. just runs things, yeah. Yeah, and then um, his brother uh, kind of hasn't really found where he fits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that is, is, speaks for all three of us. You know, we, obviously Isabel and I are a little better adjusted, um, but I think Michael is sort of the epitome of what all three of us feel every day inside we just mask it better than he does yeah um what like a a sense of of loneliness a sense yeah. of uh, yeah, not fitting it's in frustration uh, like where you there's belong. a frustration and this this yeah. sense of of feeling so isolated within the community that you should normally feel accepted by but just because of who they are and the right. nature of who we are there were we never we're not home mm -hmm. we're not we're on the wrong planet um and it's just the struggle to try and make this planet home and this community feel like home. Um, and I, I think all three of us are dealing with that in our own ways. I mean, I, I'm very strict and rigid in my life and with what I do. And Isabel is kind of the same way with her mm -hmm. husband. Uh, and then Michael's just, ah, he's just all way. over the place. Because um, he he's doesn't so have hard. that. Yeah. yeah. So we need to know. Obviously, there is what? a threat in the town. Trevor St. John. Mm. It's very threatening. How good is yeah. he? I know. Fantastic. Just I know. Perfect. Yeah. Did you probably know him from your ABC days at all? I mean, obviously, this. I didn't. You no. know, I I knew of him. I was yeah. familiar yeah. with him, um, but I had never worked with him, and I never never met him. So uh, it was fun to kind of come full circle with that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's so, he can be so chilling too. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the perfect word for him. I might yeah. steal that. <laughs> please. Because it please. is. He's so chilling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those blue eyes, you just feel like you, you can't lie. Yeah. You know? Military threat though. What do they mm -hmm. want? What do you think they want? And what do they know? Yeah. That, that's what's fascinating. Because that gets deeper and deeper mm -hmm. as we go through the series. Yeah. I, I don't know how much they know, but I, do know my fear of it is, and I think I say it at some point, yeah. uh, if they find out who I am or what we are, they're gonna cut us up in a lab. Yeah, yeah that's the fear. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and they've, they've put in so much work to try and suppress this thing and cover this all up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're loose threads here. We're, we're something that they can, they can snuff out, or they'll want to snuff out if they find out. Don't let it happen. I'll try.